Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to make the first card in the October 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So the first thing I need to do according to the instructions is do my stamping. So I'm going to move these pieces just out of the way for now. I need to take my early espresso and I need to ink up my Santa face like that. And then I need to pop it down over here. So apologies if I get my hair in the frame. I'm just trying to line this guy up. And there we go. Let's see how I did. Oh, you don't get much better than that. Now let's see if our luck holds for the Christmas. There we go. These are actually really easy to use. Um, I just, when I do it, I normally go right over top so that I can see really clearly where I am against my background. But when I'm doing the videos, I need to be back just a little bit so that I don't end up with my hair in the frame. So, um, so there we go. We did well with the stamping. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build our card. So I am going to take my card and I'm gonna fold it over and you can use your finger to do the crease or if you don't have a bone folder, which you're not expected to if you're just doing the kits, you can use the side of your block to crease that edge so it's nice and crisp. Okay, it tells me that now my stamping is done. The first thing I need to do here is I need to add on my dimensionals in the corners here and in one in the middle. And you'll see that my dimensional sheet has already started to be used. Um, that's because I, the first video I did with these, I built the card and the video stopped. I got to the end, went to stop my video and it had already stopped. So I don't generally pre-build these. I build them as I go, just as if uh, you would be building them out of the box. Um, and then if there's any issues with the instructions, I can give feedback to the uh, paper pumpkin site and to the um, to Stampin' Up. But there is very rarely is there a problem with the instructions. They are very, very clear. So there we go. There is that mounted up. Okay, so my next step is that I need to take the largest, there's three different sizes of these iridescent stars on the sheet. I need to take the largest one and I need to put a an adhesive dot on the back of it like that. I need to take my Santa and I need to put a couple of dimensionals on Santa like that. Okay, so the first thing I do is I need to mount up this snowflake. And the nice thing about this background is it's a grid, so it gives you really good help on how you place and where you place your pieces. So there we go. I've got that one right there. Then I need to put my Santa on. And I put Santa off to the side like this, overlapping that star just like that. Okay, so now I need to put dimensionals on the back of the banner and a glue dots on the back of the greeting. Okay, so it tells me that I need to put these dimensionals at the bottom only on this banner. And that's because it's going to overlap the Santa and that Santa is already dimensionalized. So we'll do that. And then I need an adhesive or three adhesive dots for the Mary. So I'm just going to pop one down like that on the M and then another one on the R right there and one on the Y, just where it crosses over like that. Okay, so let's put this on. We need to line it up. Again, the background on this makes it really super simple, apart from the fact there's nice straight lines um, to follow. You can grid it up really well. So there we go. That's on like that. Then I take the Mary 
and I'm just going to peel the backing off. The nice thing about the stamp, uh, the, the adhesive dots, is if it overlaps the edge, if it just runs off the edge, you can just fold it in with your finger. And we're going to put this on like this. There we go. Give it a bit of a press. And then we're going to take the Christmas and we're going to overlap the whole thing just a little bit. And we're going to put this on. I need to be about there. And we're just going to lay that down like that. Perfect. Okay. So their last step on this one, and I always lose these guys, is the uh, adhesive gem that we're just going to put in the middle of the snowflake like that. So there we go. There is our first project built using the paper pumpkin pit kit for October 2022 called Ho Ho Ho. So stay tuned for the other card builds.